All right, today we're gonna to talk about agents working with divorce clients. Working with clients going through a divorce can be lucrative opportunity for real estate agents. Divorce often involves the sale of a family home and many divorcing couples are looking to sell quickly to move on with their lives. Now, we're going to outline the steps a real estate agent can take to make a lot of money working with people in a divorce. I wish I had an agent that knew uh, what I knew today when I went through a divorce 18 years ago. And yes, I am extremely happy married now. Uh, our goal is help divorcing clients efficiently sell their home while maximizing profit. Now, what do we do as a real estate agent? We are going to build a network. Yes, I said build a network. We're gonna connect with legal professionals. We're gonna reach out to family law attorneys and divorce mediators who may have clients needing real estate service. Make a list of at least three to reach out to. Join real estate a group. Uh, join real estate groups, attend local networking events, and join online real estate communities and connect with potential clients. Step two, understand divorce law. How do you do this? Studying state laws, familiarize yourself with property division, alimony and child support laws in your state. Stay neutral. That is by far one of the most important things. Stay neutral, maintain neutral um, maintain a neutral basis with both people. Avoid taking sides in disputes. Focus on selling the home efficiently. Dual marketing may be needed sometimes as well. Market to both parties. Create separate marketing materials if needed, catering to each party's preferences. Provide outstanding service. So incredibly important empathy and communication. Be, empath be empathetic, always mess up with that word, and keep clients informed throughout the process. Have empathy. Uh, know that they are going through a massive life event. We don't get into marriage thinking we're gonna get divorced. Being there to help both of them during that time is so incredibly uh, important. Now we're gonna talk about assisting clients going through grief. Working with clients dealing with the loss of a loved one can be one of the most sensitive yet profitable opportunities for real estate agents. Now we're gonna outline the steps a real estate agent can make um, to make people that are going through these deaths of a loved one and life events a lucrative financial opportunity. Profitability, uh, assist clients who need to sell their home after experience the loss of a loved one. Now, what do we do? We're going to build a network. We're going to connect with estate professionals. At least two to three, we're going to make a list for and reach out to them. We're going to reach out to estate and probate attorneys who might have clients in need of services. Now, online networking, that is another step that you can do. You can join other groups or other networking groups for people going through uh, the loss of a loved one. Show empathy, provide emotional uh, support, be understanding and supportive. Acknowledging the emotional challenge challenges that clients may face is so important. Um, I have uh, personally dealt with so much death. Um, my mom, dad, and sister died all nine years apart. All of us have gone through death in our life or will go through it and it is never easy. Now we need to understand probate. We need to learn probate laws. Gain knowledge of probate, property, and inheritance laws in your state. Offer consultations explain the benefits, discuss the advantages of selling during probate, like reducing maintenance costs and preventing pre-foreclosure. Transparent marketing, more than ever, is important. Honest property presentations, market properties, truthfully highlighting benefits like lower purchase price and fewer property liens. Um, it is important to also offer exceptional service. 
That may be something we all should know, but believe it or not, that is one of the most important key components. We need to have a supportive service, uh, provide exceptional service with patients and support through this process. Now, to provide specialized and um, services with empathy, real estate services for um, clients undergoing military deployment. That's another life event. Deployment while ensuring a smooth transaction process and maximizing client service. We're going to go through a few key steps for you today uh, around this. Now, working with clients going through deployment. Offer specialized services to clients facing military deployment. Ensure a smooth transaction process and client satisfaction. Now, consultation is a, uh, I'd say the key component. Identify the needs, um, understand what uh, the clients are going through, understand their deployment related needs and concerns. Are they PCOSing? Uh, is it something, um, an, an emergency deployment? Maybe they're going through a divorce because of the deployment. Communication planning, agree on effective communication methods and schedules. Legal considerations, you need to understand uh, the power of attorney and other legal aspects. So incredibly important. Now property search and management. Many times they're not going to be local. Uh, you may have to, while you're searching for a property for them or finding suitable properties, uh, if they're being deployed and moving from one area to another, you're really going to need to understand their criteria and meet them where they are. It could be videos, it could be Zoom, so they can see exactly what's going on with the property. Now, property management. When you are um, dealing with helping them sell their property, you may have to deal with repairs, maintenance, uh, and property management or finding them a property manager. Negotiating, I want you to understand you need to handle offers considering the client's deployment schedule. I remember uh, multiple times in the middle of the night having to negotiate contracts due to where they were located inspections, coordinate property inspections with the respect of their timeline, and then make sure um, to do whatever it takes to um, close the deal in the simplest way based upon where they're deployed or what's happening. Now, when they've been deployed, there could be uh, a different way to hand over the property, uh, transfer and keys or transition of property management. For you, um, knowing that they could not be here or they had to leave quickly and that you, by staying in contact uh, and being there, uh, that regardless of what they're going through, you're there to help and support them, um, it truly uh, could be a very impactful opportunity for you in your real estate career as well as impacting the community. Now going through um, divorce, dealing with people with grief and military personnel facing deployment while establishing yourself as a knowledgeable uh, real estate agent in these specialized areas, um, it truly can impact your pipeline impact the people going through this. Um, I will be providing the tools, step-by-step -step strategies and systems to impact your community and these life events on a high level. I want you to understand that people going through a divorce, the data when they go through a divorce is public knowledge. Probate is public knowledge when a death happens. Deployment when you understand how to find people that have a VA loan and you know the timeframes that they end up getting deployed and those three data sources become a way for you to reach out to the client. I call them key indicators it will create and grow your pipeline quicker and faster. This is not about chasing ambulances. This is not about um, going after people that is a potential source through a, a time of need. This is about 
impacting your community and the people going through some of the mass, most massive and impactful life events um, that anyone um, could ever imagine. I know myself, um, I went through a divorce 18 years ago. If I knew what I knew today and I had a professional that can truly um, work with me to do what's best and uh, truly point me in the right direction, myself and my ex-husband's um, goals would have, I'd see, be defined on a quicker level instead of fighting over property and things that really um, did not turn out good in the long run. My mom, dad, and sister um, all passed away nine years apart. My grandmother uh, passed away. Um, it, it's death is um, it, it is one of the most emotional and impacting um, things that anyone could ever deal with. Um, being able to be there to be a resource to help people going through um, the most. Um, God, the hardest thing that anyone could ever imagine, um, it's life-changing. Those people will never forget you. Yes, a death certificate is public knowledge and probate, but when you have the right marketing tools and you know how to approach them, it truly can impact your real estate income as well as impact the individual in your community on a high level. Now deployment. My husband is a retired uh, military vet, and I remember right after him and I getting together how we purchased a home and he immediately got deployed. That is never easy. Spouses um, could be left behind. They could have had to leave so quickly. The house is vacant, uh, lawn is overgrown, and they did not have time to find a trusted resource. By utilizing the VA loan data and being able to provide the people that do have a VA loan with resources that could help them regardless if they're staying or leaving, truly, um, it, it, it's a big passion of mine. Now, I will be your coach through this process to provide you the tools and resources that you need to be able to impact these life events. I hope you join us. Thank you.